Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, excuse the weird surroundings today. I can't get any privacy at all anymore to film videos, including in my own house. So I'm in my parking lot filming this video. I wanted to talk today about the books that I'm reading during this lockdown. I'm still working, which is good, but I can't leave the house or go into the field or do anything like that right now. So I've been keeping myself occupied by catching up on some of my reading. So I'm going to share with you some of the three of the books that I'm reading right now. Okay, first book uh, that I am reading is Sapiens. And this is called Sapiens, A Brief History of Mankind. And it's by Yuval Noah Harari. And this book, I got at Walmart because all our bookstores and libraries are shut down right now. So I had to find a book that was at Walmart that I could pick up while I was doing my groceries. Um, so I grabbed this one because it was the heaviest and longest book I could find, but it's actually super fascinating. It's about human biology and natural history and how our biology, like coming from the great apes, has changed our history and created the development of multiple different cultures and languages and it goes throughout history so it starts at literally the big bang all the way up to modern times it talks about how homo sapiens at one point were not the only human species and about how there was all these other really unique human species and how there could be more human species in the future so this one's actually really good so far um so i'm really enjoying this one i'm getting through it super fast but uh yeah highly recommend it for people who are interested in natural history and just like I don't know I've been feeling very like introspective lately and thinking about like the universe and humans with all of the stuff that's been going on right now so this is a good analysis of why we behave the way that we do throughout history so uh, I would recommend picking this one up. Okay, the second one that I'm reading right now is actually an audiobook because uh, the libraries are shut down and I couldn't find this one for an affordable price on Amazon. Uh, so I got it on Audible. It this one's called The Dreamt Land, Chasing Water and Dust Across California by Mark Ericks. Um, this one is really fascinating if you are from California or interested in like water politics. What that means basically is like how our agriculture is produced and how water is used in the production of the crops that we eat and that sounds okay that sounds boring but it's actually really really interesting because there was actually literal literally water wars going on in the central valley and the large amount of water needed to produce these crops is causing like huge political ramifications and it's changing the entire ecosystem of the central valley from something that was totally different hundreds of years ago compared to how it is today. The author is a son of Central Valley farmers and so he goes through it from the perspective of someone who grew up in the Central Valley. So uh, if you are interested in water politics and environmental politics in California, I would recommend giving that one a read. It reads to me like an environmental version of Joan Didion and kind of like Rachel Carson vibes as well too where it's like about these water politics and environmental law but it's like so descriptive like he's such a good author and just creating these landscapes that it's really um actually like quite artistic of a viewpoint if that makes any sense of central valley so that's a good one that i'm reading right now and then the third one that i'm reading i'll stop it at three is actually a book i've already talked about on this channel that I'm rereading and it's called The Sweet Breathing of Plants. I really like this book. It's an essay collection that has essays from all different sorts of authors. There's a bunch of different authors in here. The subtitle is Women Writing on the Green World and it's about the traditional relationships women have had with nature and in some ways it's a little removed from the gender side of it and it talks like Rachel Carson t doesn't talk too much about um, women exclusively but some of these are quite focused on like women healers throughout traditional history how women have used plants um, like witchcraft and how women were persecuted for herbalism and for practicing herbalism and traditional their traditional medicinal beliefs um, it also covers like so many different topics related to uh, plants, the environment, animals um, from a female lens. So uh, I really enjoy this one so much that I'm giving it a reread. 
during this time. So those are all the books that I'm reading right now. I have a Goodreads list that has all my like want to read books uh, and I will link to that down below so you can see what is up next for me. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you next time.